coming to an angry Canadian gamer. This is the first episode I've done in 10 months. Um, not because I didn't want to, but there's been a ton of shit has happened in my life. Um, I broke up with my girlfriend. I moved down to back home to Kitchener. I got a new apartment. I've been trying to sort a bunch of shit out. 2020 happened. Fucking coronavirus. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other craziness. Um, and also, I've been trying to get my setup done with everything. Um, and also, you know, homeschooling the kids has been tough. I mean, it's been fun, but it takes up a lot of my time. So, anyhow, I just want to do a quick little video with my um, World of Warships. This is worth the warships now. It's been updated to 9.4. Uh, they've been working on a submarine beta, and now they have it in like a second phase before they integrate it to their main game. And I played around with the three submarines. Uh, if you want to, so if you want to play, you have to be I think a level 13, which I'm like 16. You have to also go to submarine battle. And any tier six ship you have is eligible. And so I have a Ranger, American aircraft carrier, and a Lander, a British heavy cruiser. Um, I was able to get this Agile from the French destroyer. And also I bought a South Asian um, destroyer too. I'm not even going to... A Shan? I'm not going to pronounce that at all. But to unlock the submarines, you have to go here to the armory. And every day you log on, you get these submarine tokens. Um, just bear with me as everything loads. And probably have to edit this out. <laughs> You get the submarine tokens, which I have three of now. I don't need them anymore because I've already unlocked them. But basically you get, uh, there's seven days where you have to log in seven times and you get a one in seven chance of unlocking your submarine. So you exchange for these submarine tokens. So, I've played as each one of these. The American, Charlotte. I'm pronouncing that right also, I apologize. And the Soviet S1 class. And my favorite is the U69, German U-boat. And you also get these tier six um, commanders. Now, they had 19 experience points. And this is how I did mine. You know, this is just, you know, my suggestion Sorry for my bad lighting. Uh, it's dark and there's no light in the corner of this room. <laughs> so that's another reason why I delayed on my videos because just capability. You know, I had to get this light from Amazon uh, and it looked brighter in, in the description on my damn camera. Anyhow, so I unlocked um, Vigilance. It as you can see there, it uh, extends the torpedo's acquisition range even with a hydroacoustic search it's active. I got radio location, shows the direction of the nearest enemy or submarine. And then in support class, I was able to get um, an extra consumable, which comes in handy. You got the acoustic search down here, and you got um, the other one allows you to dive to I think 80 meters so you get less damage than you normally would. I increased my torpedo's speed uh, but then it gets rid of its range a little bit um, reduces the time of fire so obviously it's important if you're submarine so I can shoot more than my enemy I have researched this risk of main tubes torpedo tubes being incapacitated and then finally I got um, extra HP 
Um, so I think uh, as I destroy enemies, I get some of their health back. So that's been it's been good. I tried these. So I tried all these three subs. I like this one the best. Um, its maneuverability is pretty good. Um, so yeah, we'll just do a quick battle. So I'm not the absolute best. I've seen some YouTubers play this game, and they are immensely better than I can try to be. Uh, I can manage to get one, maybe two kills a game, but in other games, I just go around in circles. <laughs> and I also get confused with the new um, control method. So the two, to dive and, and, and submerge, you have F and C. So, I know there's only two buttons to worry about, but I get them confused sometimes. I want to go down, I end up going up by mistake, which can be problematic. Um, and so some of the the um, game of this, some of the game, uh, oh, I can't think of the word right now. Mechanics, there we go. <laughs> uh, they are... Well, they're interesting, to say the least. Um, I'm learning some new things. Uh, I enjoy the submarines uh, myself, so that's a big plus. Um, I've been waiting for this beta to be to come out. I missed the open beta a couple months ago when it was uh, it's really private. You had to sign up and, and do all that. I missed the cutoff point for that, but I'm l glad they did this second wave of beta testing, which is important. Um, so yeah, here we go. So finally we're loading up. Um, so yeah, if you are closer to the surface, you're more detectable, uh, which, you know, obviously. And destroyers, always stay away from destroyers and cruisers. They can um, get you with their depth charges, and I've been depth charged a lot. So here we go, F is up and C is down. So, should be. And then I also have a trouble with the sonar ping. So if you get one ping at the front of the ship, then um, yeah, they will start to turn. And then Action the ping stations. is the moment a little bit better. I always like doing this. This little my strategy towards this is all right so we have to capture all three or four territories we get one to start I will go towards the center pilot mode enabled and just kind of wait so we got an S1 another S1 so the two Soviets and myself the German U-boat I mean just look at that model it's really well done, in my opinion. It looks... One thing I would do is... I wish they... You can't use the deck gun. So, there's some times when... If you want to be ballsy enough, maybe try and hit a ship that's really close to death from far away. Um, I would like to use the deck gun. So, but... You can't. So, what I like to do is I'm going to dive just about 5.8 meters. Enemy force detected. So, I'm at what would be called periscope depth. So, I'm just a little periscope sticking my head above the water. Uh, so this is a destroyer over there. I'm going to stay away from him. I'm looking for... I'm looking for these big fuckers. The, uh, destroyers... No, uh, battleships and cruisers. That's my plan. So I'm going to stay the fuck away from those destroyers over there. So if you look at the bottom left of your screen, you'll see the indications of my health, which is in green, and my battery charge, which is in, which is in gray. So, in the surface... I'm not using as many energy. You can also see it in where it says 410 um, Auto energy mode units. Disabled. Oh, we got a submarine.
everyone else game. And every time you use your ping, you get detected. Which, as you can see by that big yellow triangle over there. <laughs> so I'm going to try and aim for his bow. Flooding quickly. Oh, now I got two pinks. Yeah. So I got him twice, so he's probably in sync, but he's scared to Jesus. Problem solved, sir. I'm really using electric charge every time I pick. Ah, oh, come on. I took one guy down with me. <laughs> uh, those German fucking U boat guys, yeah, they must have been a really. I wouldn't want to be a submarine in general, but especially World War II, because that would have been really scary. Oh, oh my fucking camera. Anyhow, that was that. I took one submarine out. 
Um, but then I gotta take it up myself. So like I said, I'm not the best player at this. I would also, I don't think I'd want to be a battleship because they don't have, they, battleships have no submarine defense. There's the, the Russian sub, let's see what he was doing. But anyhow, I'll just call that. I don't want to tow, tie up a video with watching other people play, so. Yeah, let's go. So, yeah, that was my first video in 10 months. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be my last. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get into the habit of doing more videos. Um, so hopefully you can take from that what you will. If you like, oh, you know, try doing this or try doing that. Um, I'm also, you know, put some comments down below. How do you think I can improve my submarine battle ability tactics? So again, so thank you all for coming again. I know this has been a long time coming. Um, like I said, things happened, and I've done a lot with my life for the past 10 months. And yeah, um, and as I get, you know, uh, I'm going to build a new computer. Uh, I'm just looking at my stats of my um, computer here, and my processor is is maxed in my graphics card. I had to upgrade my graphics card, so if they're a little mismatched in performance, so my graphics card's at like 75%, and my processor's like throttled to 100. So I built this computer in 2016, um, with an FX processor and so on and so forth. So it's time to get a new computer, and it's uh, challenging because of you know, coronavirus and, and uh, money is tight. So I don't want to be one of those guys to blow all my money on uh, frivolous, you know, I could get a really nice computer if I use all my coronavirus money, you know, but uh, anyhow, thanks for watching, um, and uh, yeah, more videos to come, so take care, stay safe, and see you guys later.